what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? The war over how to properly remember the nation's troubled past heated up this week as police dispersed a crowd attempting to pull down a statue of Andrew Jackson, Donald Trump's, your president, favorite predecessor near the White House, but memorials to other former presidents, including George Washington and Thomas Jefferson, fell to the crowds that have been gathering nightly in many cities since the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis galvanized public support for the Black Lives Matter movement. While many Americans believe that the nation should not continue to glorify the Confederacy and the institution of slavery, there are others like the Tangerine Tornado in the White House who believe that keeping memorials and honorary names in place honors the great American heritage. The number of statues that have been removed, some placed into storage by government officials our local institutions and others yanked to the ground by protesters illustrate how broad the reevaluation of historical reputations has been. One of the biggest lies that Americans love to tell is how America was founded on the idea that all men are created equal. We know that to be a lie because 12 statesmen who served as president owned slaves. That's over a quarter of American presidents. Eight owned slaves while they sat in office writing policy for Americans. Not only did enslaved laborers build the White House, all of America's earliest presidents were slave owners. George Washington kept some 300 slaves at his Mount Vernon plantation. Thomas Jefferson, despite once calling slavery an assemblage of horrors, owned at least 175 slaves. James Madison, James Monroe, Andrew Jackson, all of these suckers owned slaves. And the list goes on, fam. Let's go back to Andrew Jackson. He's Donald Trump's favorite president of all time. Slave on. I know you can't be surprised. How could any decent human being like this dude? You got to question yourself, man. You, you, you can't say that you, that you are empathetic toward human beings and you care about people and that you're a good person and all this stuff, but you're only good for your needs. See, a lot of people like Donald Trump because they wish like hell that they could bring slavery back. A lot of people that like Donald Trump, they would have been slave owners and they would have enjoyed it. They would have moved to the South to be a slave owner. I'm telling you fam, a whole lot of them ain't got no problem with slave owning people. Just reading some of this stuff, and, and I look at, when, I, when I read stuff like such and such own this slave, and this, this is a picture of a slave, a slave owned by, and I'm looking at people, and I'm going like, damn. Talk about a horror story. Before you defend these statues, keep in mind that many of those statues are for people who had to be pardoned after the war. They took up arms against the United States, which is called treason. They deserved to die according to the law, but they did not kill them. They spared them. Not only did they spare their lives, they made statues of them and displayed them in town squares for everybody to see. Engraved them in mountains, put them on dollar bills, $5 bills, $20 bills, $100 bills, $50 bills. Put them on coins. You can't tell me that America 
has not been trying to uphold the institution of slavery, like really like gloating in what it did, the damage that it did. These statues are not to just remember America's past. It is a tribute to white supremacy. That's what this stuff is really all about, fam. That is what all of these statues are about. They are tributes to white supremacy. The only reason why these Confederate soldiers did not get murdered by the government was because they were white. Because the crimes that they committed, they killed Americans, they turned on the government. They tried to overthrow the government and they lost. Instead of killing them, they honored them. Pardoned every single one of them. They had to pardon them so they wouldn't kill them for treason. Think about what I'm saying, fam. These are monuments to white supremacy. And Trump talks about the protesters vandalizing there is, has not been a, an American even close to Donald Trump in the vandalism department over the last few years. He has vandalized America more than any single individual. There were more than 200 Confederate soldiers who were granted pardons so that they would not be hung for treason. Had the founding fathers lost the war it's likely that they would have been hung by the British. So let's talk about these families whose fortunes are tied to slavery. What are we gonna do about them? I say, make them all unass, all that money. Yeah, that would be a good start. And give it to the descendants of slavery. Put it towards reparations. That is a good idea to me. Oh yeah. These symbols of hate and division in America, past and present, they got to go. Next up, any building or symbol bearing the Trump name. No more talk. What the talking about?